And welcome back. Sorry I cut you off short, but there was right almost to get to 10 minutes, and I'm trying to keep them under because I've had several run over, and I don't want YouTube being all like, hey, you posted like six videos that are 30 seconds over. We're angry at you. Good doing it. 25,000 points. Yay. That's nice, I guess. I can I, I don't do this intentionally. It's just the way things work out. Do mine land now. No. One thing I didn't find online is if these words are actually are all actually words as the one mini game would lead me to believe. Nowhere online is there a description of what all these words mean, since I mean weird words. I don't know if any of them are actually used anywhere. I mean, for all I know, the phonetic spellings of Chinese and Japanese words. Oh dear. Come on! 17 seconds yet. Yeah, not gonna try and get that word. I'm just gonna run and try and get the Illumin time icon. Come on. Where are you, extra time? Oh, there you are. No! Woohoo! Now I'll get the word. No sense in losing that potato. Which is pretty much what would have happened if we'd gotten the word first. Oh dear. This ain't good. Plenty of time. Ugh! Now, if you die into the 30 seconds icon, it will save you. And also, if you jump into the door as you have zero seconds, you won't die. But you won't get your fruit either. You don't get your fruit, you don't get any bonuses. It doesn't like it because it's not really programmed to deal with that. I only ever experienced that once or twice. It's an extremely hard thing to do on purpose, let alone... I mean, it's a hard thing to do. In fact, it's one of those things that I don't know that you can do on purpose. Just do it because you're diving for the door. The grassland for last. Don't know why. Maybe because I feel like it. Yeah. Abominable snowman. And you comment. Whoa, fairy. What's the fairy? Well, see, from here on out, it doesn't tell you when things are added to the game. That fairy leads you to a certain flashing rabbit. The problem with the flashing rabbit? It explodes if you don't get it quickly enough. If a wabbit explodes, if you have a bonus letter, you lose a you lose a bonus letter. If you don't have a bonus letter, you spell yep, yeah, bye bye. Every letter gone. Boop. So it's important to grab bonus letters, if for no other reason than just in case you don't get to that exploding wabbit. Oh dear. Wow, you bunny. Don't blow up on me. Don't really have to worry too much about them exploding in wizard level. Once you get up into the saucer, you certainly have to worry about them exploding. I'll do a lickety squirt, they will. Yay! Bonus round! Let's collect all the time we can. We're gonna need it. The grassland's not a terribly hard level, but still, want some time to complete it. I don't want to have to spend my stars just yet. Aha! One second. We had extra, so we get 27 seconds. Yay. Do -do -do -do. 
Well, what does a banana and a carrot do? First ingredient. Second ingredient. I don't know why you can't mix more than two ingredients. It's probably because the program has got lazy. Six, 50 extra stars. Those might come in handy. Honestly, I hope I don't have to spend any stars. It would be nice. Make me feel more confident when I start in a saucer level, but I probably will. Nothing else on time, if not on extra lives, just to cover myself. I tend to not buy extra time and worry more about extra lives. Oh dear. Come on! Oh, there you are! No! And we lose a life. Oh well. Got two of them left. <laughs> Not notice. It's the last level on the mine shaft, but yet it didn't say final wizard level. But could that mean? Well, we're going to see. Oh dear, that bunny's gonna blow. Come back here, bunny. No blowing up on me. That would be very rude. Not only to me, but to the viewers. Not that you really make any noise when you blow up, you don't scream or explode. Really, really. Kind of puff up and poof, gone. Ooh. Minute 19, that's going to be a nice amount of time to start out the next section with. Items collected, yes, yes, yes. Prepare to meet. Snake eyes. Now, you have to understand that my mother is deathly afraid of snakes. And the first time I played this boss, our TV was on the fritz. So we had a spare one from the basement that I always had the Genesis hooked up to upstairs. And my parents had graciously allowed me to hook the Genesis up to it. And I'm fighting this boss and my mother walks in the room. Yeah, much screaming, much cursing me out, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't help it. There's a snake in the game. Get over it. <laughs> oh, Liz, stop sucking away at his mouth. His mouth is not damageable yet. There we go. Come on, give me your power. It is mine. Oh, you're dead. Oh, good. There is a bit of gore there if the head is up half hard enough, it actually gets chopped off from the tail. Congratulations. You have defeated Snake Eyes. And, and that's the beginning of the freaky bosses. The next two or three bosses aren't all that freaky. The last two... Well, the second to last boss is probably the freakiest thing you will ever see. I mean, just hands down. Freaky. I mean, it's not really scary because it's cartoonishly done. In fact, I'm going to stop there because I, I'm going to have to stop the video because I forgot to start my timer. But it's not really scary, but it's freaky looking. Spoilers, who cares? It's not really a spoilable game. Next video.